The emerging threats from wars in Europe and the Middle East have reinforced clear priorities for the Republic of Singapore Air Force RSAF, including the need to develop innovative solutions that are cost and operationally effective, said Major General Kelvin Kong. In a written interview, Singapore's Chief of Air Force flagged the increased contestation in air littorals, the airspaces between ground forces and high-altitude fighter jets or bombers in recent conflicts. The threats include small, low-cost unmanned aerial systems and loitering munitions, said M.G. Kong in response to questions from local media and defence publications ahead of the Singapore Air Show. Loitering munitions are autonomous drones with warheads that can loiter in an area till they identify a target and attack. M.G. Kong also cited commercial off-the-shelf drones employing shuttlecock grenades. For instance, the Ukrainian army fitted grenades with three-dimensional printed stabilization fins lifted by commercial drones to be dropped vertically onto targets. Likewise, the Houthis in Yemen employed attack drones to target commercial vessels in the Red Sea, he said. In addressing these threats, a key challenge is the cost imbalance that will arise if the RSAF continues using traditional means. He noted, These traditional capabilities cost more. While conventional air power capabilities are still important, the RSAF will require innovative and sustainable solutions against such threats. He added, We need to have the ability to rapidly prototype and operationalize new capabilities. The Russia-Ukraine conflict also reinforced the importance of achieving air superiority. He said, If either side had achieved air superiority, the conflict would have taken on a very different trajectory there is a higher probability that it would not be so long and protracted. He added. Turning to the RSAF's aircraft fleet, MG Kong announced a life extension program for the AH-64D Apache multi-mission helicopters to ensure they remain operationally ready beyond 2030. The AH-64D, effective for both day and night and under all weather conditions, has been used by the RSAF since 1999. MG Kong added that the H-225M medium-lift helicopters have fully taken over search and rescue missions from the IS-332M Super Pumas, which have been in service since 1983. The H-225M has about 20% longer range capability than the Super Pumas and will meet the Singapore Armed Forces requirements more efficiently. He said. On fighter jets, MG Kong said the upgrading of F 16s is progressing well, and the RSAF has started to deploy the upgraded fighters to its Peace Coven 2 detachment at Luke Air Force Base in Arizona in the United States. This upgrading program keeps the F 16 operationally ready until the mid 2030s, when it is due to be replaced, he added. The RSAF will closely review the F-15 SG and refresh these jets when necessary. He said, adding that they are still an important part of the Air Force's fighter fleet. The F-15 SG has been serving the Air Force since 2009 and is expected to continue meeting its operational needs. Noted MG Kong. Singapore also expects to take delivery of four next-generation F-35B fighters by 2026 and the remaining eight in the following years. Training for a core group of pilots will start when the first four jets are delivered. He said, adding that this will take place in the US so the RSAF can make use of the large airspace to hone its pilots' operational skills and air combat readiness as well as train with U.S. forces. M.G. Kong said the delivery of Orbiter for close-range unmanned aerial vehicles has been delayed and the RSAF is working on a suitable delivery timeline. Acquired in March 2022, these vehicles, which have capable sensors and increased portability, can be deployed in a range of peace and combat situations.
The RSAF is also working out the details on replacing its existing Hermes 450 and Heron 1 unmanned aerial vehicles. And the renewal plan will be shared when ready, MG Kong added. On developing a smart airbase, he cited how the RSAF is testing drones to patrol, detect intruders, and assess damage to a runway. The Air Force has plans to invest in new platforms and technology to reduce the manpower requirements of its airbases, he added. He said the RSAF is exploring artificial intelligence technology to use data generated by pilots in simulators to enhance pilot training. It has also set up a small experimental office to study the effective use of digital technologies in training.